It started with a group of us around a table. Uh, we had an American company here in South Africa who were interested in doing a feature and they actually initiated the, uh, the, the idea. And then once we had the basic concept, we spent a few years writing a script and developing that script, raising the finance and eventually going into production. It all starts with the story, and so, so it's from script to storyboard, and that, that process took about, I would say, six months of um, a lot of drawings. The main challenge in the way is getting the story right, because it is just difficult to tell a really good story. So this, the story of Adventures in Zambezia is, uh, is mainly focused around Kai, who's a falcon, and he lives with his dad in, in isolation in a place called Kutungu. <laughs> Dead. You're pretty fast for an old bird. And they don't have a great uh, relationship and he's sort of frustrated living out there in the sticks really. And um, then one day he hears about Zambezia and he finds out that his dad actually knew about the city but had been keeping it from him. And so Kai actually leaves home and journeys to Zambezia. And there he, he wants to be a hurricane, which is the elite fighting sort of flying force, air force there. So we focused and hung everything off that theme of Ubuntu, which, um, which could help guide us throughout the whole process really, which is pretty much, you know, Kai, the, the hero's journey, um, where he, he starts off being very much for himself. Careful with my eggs, Neville. Would you watch where you're going? This is a no-fly zone. Uh, sorry, sorry. Welcome to Zambezia, <laughs> the famed city of birds. And he, he ends up realizing that he has to live his life through other people. Time to meet the town the easy way. I'm Karen Boerter. I um, am the visual supervisor at Triggerfish. So I was the visual supervisor on Zabizia um, and the lead of texturing. I work very closely with the production designer and, um, and the director and the script actually. You have the 2D artwork which looks amazing and then when you start putting it, um, translating it into 3D, there's a lot of things that can be lost in translation. So I kind of follow it in every like, step of the process. Yeah, the production design was epic <laughs> and we had a very small team and we had you know, not, not a very big budget. And there were a lot of little like sneaky things we did on the way. Um, the textures just get reused. So we, we kind of broke it down to three materials that the birds would use in the city. So the grass weaving birds, so there were these kind of grass textures, then there were like the mud, and then the last one, oh, would be wood. So once we sort of decided on those three materials, they just keep getting repeated throughout the whole city. The world has to be created in 3D, all the characters modeled and um, textured, so that they put feathers on the birds and all of that. But there's at that moment when you watch the movie, when the the sound is on, the music's in, it's all mixed. It's the first time you watch it after it's come out of the, th the sound uh, design. I think when the lighting, they're starting the lighting on the scenes, on, on the sets, you see it as a place. I think it becomes quite believable. From start to finish, it was six years. And yeah, then another year of uh, to, to get to distribution. We, we didn't expect the results that we've got. Uh, we, d we didn't know if we could pull it off to such an extent. You know, our aim was to sort of try and compete with Pixar and DreamWorks and Disney because that's what the audiences know. And so I think, yeah, just, just getting the feedback that we've gotten from the audiences who all, you know, really respond to the movie. We're, we're very happy with the way it's gone down um, in most of the world, especially Russia. I think it, that, that was a surprise for us that they responded so warmly and it's really done very well. I think it's been dubbed into 15 languages so far, but it's really great to, to have people working on 
uh, on, on our own stories and, and that they're being exported. We can show that we are technically proficient, that we're artistically up there, that we understand quality. But I think that, that we found a model that is more based on the, the, the Hollywood studio model where um, we, we ha are creating a slate of films and we have a, a development department and we're developing new scripts all the time. On this day, we can truly say that no bird is an island.